calling you a radical. So this is part of the Manhattan Project that people don't know. Atomic City INL is originally part of the Manhattan Project. So my buddy bought this. He found the sign laying around back and he's trying to save it. And he's up against the wall. Now the beautiful, great old 7-Up sign. I'll do a video down there. They were going to tear it down. And Blake got involved. He says, well, I'll sell you that sign. It's down there at the end, the old 7-Up sign. The Butte Bar, Twin Butte Bar. So he saved it, so thank God. Let's go interview him. But we need to save this. This is important. It should be a heritage site. It's part of the Manhattan Project. You know, we talk Oak Creek, Tennessee. We talk, you know, of course, Los Alamos. Wendover, Utah. God, what a building, huh? Yeah. So this is the old, this is Blake. He bought the old Atomic City, which was originally a gas station. So you saved the other building. You got the Twin Buttes Bar. Twin Buttes Bar, yeah. You bought it. Yep. So this is an historical tear it, building. Tear it down. Let's look at this wow. grand place. place. I mean, it's been here for a while. When I used to come in here, like I said, there was... How many people were living in here, or in there, Atomic City? At, at first there was 4,000 people building the nuclear site, and then it went down to about 400. Yeah, when I used to come in in the 70s, the drinking age was 19, and I grew up in Lavin, so Ogden, we'd come in here, but anyway, this place was kicking. This was a bar then, in the 70s. She died of leukemia, by the way, but... Wow. Yeah, so... It had two or three bars in town, a <laughs> restaurant. So a lot of people don't know I was in Arco, don't know why Arco was named Arco. So because these were German nuclear physicists secretly that helped out, well helped out, they created the Manhattan Project. This city right here, Atomic City, is totally 100% manufactured by the Manhattan Project. You know, and it almost went, you saved it. You, you and I went to high school together. You know, we were high in Ogden. Yep. So, Tell us about the building down there, the other one. Twin Buttes. Well, a guy come in that owned it, and then he was going to take the sign off the building, and I said, no, 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 we want to preserve the town. And then we made a deal to where we could purchase the building, and he'd leave the sign up, and we worked out a price together, it worked for both of us. So we got the sign left, and we'll keep it preserved. Which is the coolest building in all of Idaho. As long as I'm alive, it'll be. Well, I appreciate you saying it's that. Cool, I've been. Cool sign. Oh, that yeah. sign! Are you kidding? That old Seven Up sign and the old atomic, the nuclear explosion on the side. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get cooler than that. The, yeah, the, so you're trying to keep this bar alive. I yep, understand. We're trying to keep this one going, and we're fighting against five guys here in town that are trying to disincorporate our town. Now, how many and people live in the town? There's 30 of us, or less. <laughs> So there's five guys that are trying to destroy what me and Vic here are trying to build up. Well, and the thing I think people need to know, this is so historic. The Manhattan Project plopped this here, and the name of this city is Atomic City. And I don't think people realize, you know, my work as far as I don't National Lab. I don't National Lab was originally called Atomic City. Top, top, top secret. And so... Like Wendover, the Enola Gay and everything flew out of there, top secret, you know, lost, it was all top secret. But this is the part people don't know about. I had a whole national lab, and this little city was put here for these people to live during the Manhattan Project. And, uh, you know, why is it named Arco? And I can get into that, you know, it was a German scientist, because there were a bunch of German nuclear physicists here. That's all that was here. All top secret, nuclear Big time. Submarine training for the Navy. Yeah, the sub training, you know, and they have that submarine over in Arco. You know, the, that was part of the Sturgeon <laughs> project. And you love that symbolism, the fin they have? 666. Six, six. The, the monument over there? It's a little scary. <laughs> Ain't it? Yeah. You know what I call this? I was telling these guys, he works for Floor, by the way, another guy that comes in here, lives there, and I says, I call it the highway to hell. That tells me they don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, and by floor testing these little SMRs, and which, but anyway, it needs to be preserved, and you've done such a great, I can't tell you how right, thrilled I am that you saved. I remember when you found the sign, 
And I'm like, wow. I'm like, God, don't you dare pass. This. I'm like, oh, I'm not. And so I've always been worried about that building. So you saved it, Blake. So we'll try to save the two buildings in the town, but we've got five Well, your racetrack's kicking. Racetrack's going good. It's, when you get 650 people from 30 miles from nowhere coming yeah. out, that's, that's good. So I want to tell people that if you're traveling, you know, it's the loop anyway, you get to see the two twin buttes where, which are yeah, right here, which are they're volcanoes. And the one, the tops, you can see how the top's blown off. Arco is a gem, by the uh, way. Arco is the best. Cool little town. Oh, it's the best kept secret in freak. Yeah, and the food, it's population 995. We got the big view up here, and you can drive to the top of it. Yeah, it's grand. You know, lava hot springs, go soak in the hot lava springs. Hot springs. We got Cary hot springs out past the and craters so, of the moon. Yeah, craters of the moon's and grand. Great, uh, Cary hot springs is free. You just drive off the side of the road. Yeah. It's right there. It's a beautiful. God, we used to hang in there. I used Hard to have. To find. I used to have this uh, Blackfoot girlfriend, her and I. God, that girl. And her and I. That's where we'd go. Very. Yeah. God, in the good old days. So. Yeah, they made it nice and big. Now it's a really big. Story. I haven't been out there for a while. I'm gonna have to go out there. It's really nice now. So you, you're going to Yellowstone anyway. So you take this loop. It's Highway 26. So you go to you go up through Pocatello, up through Blackfoot, and you just loop off onto Highway 26. And it's out here in the middle of nowhere. That's Idaho Nuclear Lab. It's 900 square miles. It's gigantic, yep. but this atomic city here, and we need to save it. And you have, and I think, you know, I'm going to talk to Jim Peterson out in Wendover, who saved. He's he's been saving. We saved the Officers Club. You know, we get a hangar, everything, and but this needs to be preserved. This building, and thank this you for doing it. Well, it's part of American history. Yeah, well, it's part of world history. You know, they made it back in the day. They made every a town every 30 miles, so these old Model A and Model T cars could make it to the next gas stop. Yeah. So that's why this is a gas stop. For, yeah. And this used to be the main highway. Yeah, and this here. gas stop that was here was probably gas stop was here every, before the Manhattan Project so came. Every 30, 30 miles, they put a gas. How stop. old is this building? Uh, I think it was, it, nobody knows anything past 1950, but from what I've been talking to people now, it's probably back in the 40s. When we well, the Manhattan Project, so it is part of the Manhattan Project, yeah. which I, I figured that's, well, they I knew that. Just after the 50s is when they pushed the bar in. Yeah, so and that's when the Manhattan Project went monstrous and big, and this is a huge, and their SMRs are retesting now, you know. I found out in here, that's why I'm glad to stop what that shooting was. And, they got freaking, whew, they got military out there like no other oh, right yeah. now. More than I've seen in a long time. We had a kid steal a car in Pocatello and came out to the INL. And they were on him so fast, he was done. Oh, they were on me with that big old freaking, <laughs> you seen that vehicle they drive yeah, around? Yeah, i seen it. The other they day were on yesterday. me with that. So I'm glad you saved. I'll get another video over there, the, the Twin Buttes Bar, which is the coolest logo yeah. in all of Idaho. That's, That's saying a lot. That's a beautiful sign. Oh my God, that's it's getting pretty upside. rusty, but it's yeah. You can still read it. Yeah, that's it's the and greatest the thing of that ever. Wall. Well, Oasis in the desert. You know, we need to help you save it for everybody in Europe. You know, so I was I was telling him in Vienna, Frieda Meisenblower. I was at her house right before she died in the two hundred ass for Waterloo. She's the most famous. She's so famous in Europe. She was grand. I spent four hours at her house on, you know, before she died. She's one of the blocks of the reactor in Austria never got fueled. It's a bar. It's a waiting list six months to get in it. Six That's months cool. to get in it. So I keep telling him, you know, I got to get some shirts. And remember I told you this. They say a little nuke you never hurt anyone because that was a big thing in there because they're testing the SMRs out here. I was just talking to a guy, floor construction is going to crashing. You know, the stock's gone from 60 to left. How long will they bleed that? But it is what it is. And the history of the Manhattan Project, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, I do a lot of work out there, Megan Rice. I mean, whoa, that place will trip you out. On the corner of Utah and New York, there's a restaurant there. You know, that thing was massive. That was the big money. And then, of course, Wendover. You know, the Enola Gay, the Boxcar, the Artiste, all them, you know, the 29s there. Of course, Los Alamos, we know what that is. Everybody knows what that is because of Trinity and Oppenheimer, but... They don't know about this one. 
Atomic City, Idaho. That was the name of INL, by the way. They didn't call it Idaho National Lab when the Manhattan Project, and that's why Arco's called Arco, by the way. A bunch of German fucking madmen, you know. Not my words, Einstein's words. Scientists. Yeah, that's who it, the Manhattan Project is, you know, and so. And that, that building over there is cool to go into this. Oh, it's cool as hell. I heard that part of that big old Plumber's construction. Plumber's nightmare in that thing. There's pipes Ooh. and wires. Well, you know, it originally was in the site, and they moved it over there, <coughs> off site, brick by brick. But that big old contraption that's sitting out there. The two, yeah. the two airplane engines that are outside. Ain't that a trip. Somebody said it blew over, but I couldn't get in there because they had the big old Those monster. so much they could never get the plane off the ground. Look, can you imagine? So we need to help Blake save it. Save Atomic City, right? It ain't much here, but we love it. It's nice. And it's historical. Yep. It's a grand place. So Yeah, we just had a 91-year-old lady come in and tell us a bunch of stories. And from lava, right? Yeah, and then we had another lady come in here from, I can't remember where she was from, Vicki could tell you. And she was telling us all kinds of stories. So we get people that come back and visit. We need to record this history. That's, yeah, we need to start recording. Yes, it's it's important. You know, it's irony that you and I went to high school. We were high in Ogden, Utah, where floor construction was started. And you're a California kid, <laughs> so am I kind of. I'm an Idaho, Ogden, San Diego. You're a L.A., Ogden. You know, well, you were up in the valley, right? Yep. Yeah. So I lived in Ogden for a long time. Too. Yeah, me too. We, went, we graduated the same year, 78 at Weber High, right? So, yeah, it's interesting. So, we need to help Blake save it. I really appreciate you, Blake, for, God, I've been worried about that building. I was wondering about coming in. I'm like, how long is that going to sit there like that? It almost got destroyed. You saved it. Yep. God, thank you. Thank you so if much. If my neighbor wouldn't have told me, it would have been gone. God. He run down here and said, Isn't it amazing little simple things like that? And this incredible history. Yeah, my, the guy that lives next to it wanted to buy it and tear it down and make his yard bigger. Jesus. I'm like, no, you don't want to tear that building down. So what are you going to do with it? I know you. You'll we're leave gonna, that facade. Just gonna, we'll, we're gonna, we'll keep fixing it and keep it going. Keep it preserved. Get the roof like you it. have this. So, well, I appreciate you. I'll get a video down there. And let's, uh, you know, we need to help you save it. So I'll hook up Jim with you. Okay. But, you know, see if we can't get this you know, something. I mean, look what he's doing with the officers club in Wendover, right? It's amazing. You know, in the Nola Gay Hangar. We're going to have to go stop again and check it out. Oh, we it's were there grand. a few years back. It's grand now. Yeah, you remember what it was. You know, the swimming pool's still there. And it's freaking... I mean, it looked like a bomb went off there for years. I used to hang yeah. my paintings in there or whatever. But I got to sit in Tippett's chair, you know, on the dinner on the grand home and eat. Wow. Yeah, so, but... A lot of people don't realize Atomic City, Idaho, the forgotten part of the Manhattan Project. I went 